My name is John Snow. I was born in the winter of 1813 on March 15th. I was the eldest son of a farmer. Until I was 14, I was educated in a private school in my native city of York. Soon, I became the apprentice of William Hardcastle, who was a surgeon. Later in my apprenticeship, I became a vegetarian. During this apprenticeship, there was an outbreak of cholera, a terrible disease that infects the small intestine and results in diarrhea and vomiting. In 1854, there was another cholera outbreak and I, now a doctor, was involved. There was something called miasma that was a theory stating that cholera was spread through the air. I doubted that miasma was true and created my own theories. I published an essay titled On the Mode of the Communication of Cholera that focused on the previous Soho epidemic of 1854. I still had a lot of questions about cholera. I found that the two water companies that served the area, SNV and Lambeth, served both rich and poor, large and small houses, people of both genders, and all ages. I also knew that two years ago, the Lambeth Water Company had changed the location of its pump. In a letter, I asked my partner, John Whiting, to knock on every door in the area and ask to find out how many deaths from cholera were in each house, and find out which water pump they used. His statistics were that SNV supplied 40,046 houses with 4,093 outbreaks. Lambeth supri supplied 26,107 houses with 461 outbreaks, and the other 256,423 houses had 4,800 deaths. I drew a map and marked the outbreaks. There were a few here and there, but most were in one area. I soon concluded that the Broad Street water pump was the source of the outbreak. I thought that the pump handle should be re immediately removed. My hypothesis was that invisible bits of human waste from the Thames River where the water came from were in the pump's water. I had saved the city of London. I am remembered today as a hero in England. I suffered a stroke and died on June 16th, 1858.